I'm Larry Anglesano at Aviation Consumer Magazine. You know, having dealt with an in-flight comm failure, I always try to make sure that my portable comm radio is charged up before even heading to the airport. That's what I'm doing now, and I think every flight bag should have a portable radio. That's why I was anxious to try ICOM's new A25 and radio. It's got some features that I don't think every pilot is going to make use of, but those features do make it the most advanced portable radio we've seen to date. Let's go to the bench and take a closer look. Now, the way I see it, a portable radio needs to be easy to manage with one hand, yet it's small enough to stash in a map pocket in the airplane, and the keys and controls need to be friendly for fat fingers, and I think the Icon A25 is just right. Now, it weighs 13.6 ounces with the rechargeable lithium-ion battery and the whip antenna attached. Now, the chassis is waterproof. It measures about 6 inches high, 2.3 inches wide, and a little bit over an inch deep. Now, you'll have to remove the long whip antenna to fit the radio in into a dedicated radio pocket of a flight tote, but the A25 is just the right size. The radio comes standard with an AC charging power adapter, and charging time is roughly three hours. There's also a convenient drop-in charger base as standard, and also an optional cigar lighter plug for plugging it into the airplane. Now, with lots of users switching to USB panel power, either hard-mounted or with an adapter. I wish the A25 had a USB charging option, but it doesn't. Now, battery endurance is listed at roughly 10 hours, but you'll probably expect less when transmitting. Speaking of power, the transmitter has 6 watts of output, and that's boosted from 5 watts in the older A22. But the key to any portable radio transmitting as far as a higher output panel radio, especially around higher terrain, is connecting to an external antenna. Now, the radio uses a quick disconnect BNC antenna connector for doing so. The radio comes with a headset adapter and you supply to push to talk switch. As for built-in features, the A25N is loaded. For emergencies, there's a dedicated 121.5 MHz key. There's also a 300 channel 15 group storage memory bank and you can name those channels and assign them a type. This includes GND for ground control, CLR for clearance delivery, and APP for approach to name a couple. Now, if you still navigate with VORs, the A25N has a navigation receiver, complete with on-screen CDI and basic compass rows. Now, I understand ICOM is trying to make this a full-featured NAVCOM, but I wonder how many pilots will make use of the old-school VOR feature. I wish it had a glide slope receiver like Sporty's builds into its SP400. Now, perhaps more useful is the A25N's internal GPS GLONASS receiver for basic navigation, but without an internal database, I think the functionality may be a bit short-changed. But there is a saving grace, and that comes thanks to the radio's Bluetooth for connecting to ICOM's RS Aero smartphone app. With that app, you can build flight plans that are based on lat long coordinates and then export to the radio where you can navigate and store those flight plans in data memory. There's no topo data on the A25N, but there is on the Aero app. Now one useful advantage I see is being able to add a waypoint by touching its location on the app's map page and then being able to navigate direct to it with the radio. Maybe you're flying floats or skis and want to mark some play areas. It works, but I'd like to see this expanded with other mainstream apps that might add to the utility. There's also a search function for nearby ground stations that have GPS position. The solid performing A25N is priced around $550 and ICOM sells a COM only version, the A25C, but with only $100 savings I think the Bluetooth and built in GPS in the flagship A25N leaves room for future growth, especially with potential app interfaces. Now you'll sacrifice that with the scale back A25C. Now you can read a full report on the ICOM A25N in the January 2018 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching.